We are live at 5 o'clock. Good evening. I'm Stone Grissom. And I'm Judy Martin. Stacey Bell is off tonight. Now, prosecutors say the assistant principal at Wyandanch High School sent inappropriate texts to students and coworkers. Yeah, and some of those messages they say were sexual in nature. Frustration ahead for LIRR riders. A freight train derailed this morning, causing delays and cancellations. And now the railroad says it could be days before things are back on track. News 12 Long Island's Christine Insinga live. Elsewhere tonight, seven Marines are dead, eight injured in a training exercise accident. Tonight, investigators are trying to figure out what went wrong. Marine Corps officials say a mortar exploded last night at an Army Depot in Nevada. Now, they say it's not clear whether the mortar exploded prematurely or if it was fired off. The military has suspended the use of that particular kind of mortar until that investigation is complete. And moving now to Europe, ceremony and symbolism in Vatican City today as Pope Francis was formally installed as the 266th leader of the Roman Catholic Church. Pope Francis circles St. Peter's Square in an open-topped SUV. He shuns the bulletproof glass Pope Mobile in favor of personally greeting the faithful, stopping to kiss a crying baby, and blessing a disabled man who is flanked by family. After proceedings at St. Peter's Basilica, he sits before the massive crowd of nearly 200,000 people and receives a lamb's wool shawl, representing his role as the Good Shepherd, and then the symbolic fisherman's ring, reflecting his duty to spread the gospel. Pope Francis delivered his first homily in Italian, asking the faithful to assume the role of protectors. We are all protectors of creation of the plan of God written in nature. The Pope saying that message also applies to those in positions of responsibility in economic, political, and social life. Following the two-hour mass, the Pope greeted international heads of state, including Vice President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Now, the Pope assumes his role at the holiest time of the year in the Catholic calendar. Palm Sunday is this coming weekend, and that leads into the Easter celebrations. I'm Judy Martin. The time right now is 5:23. Here's the latest: an Ohio teen who killed three people defiant before being given three life sentences. We were not expecting that. I'm totally disgusted by that. Um, but it has been our position all along that he knew what he was doing. T.J. Lane walked into court today, unbuttoned his blue dress shirt to reveal a white T-shirt with the word "killer" on it. The 18-year-old admitted to gunning down three students at Chardon High School last year. A deadly plane crash in Indiana captured on surveillance video. The private jet crashed into a residential neighborhood on Sunday. Two people on board were killed, mm. three people hurt. Wild weather down south, baseball-sized hail shattering windows, denting cars in Mississippi, wicked winds flipping mobile homes right here in Alabama, and a tornado may have been to blame for destroying structures outside Nashville. Yeah, not exactly what you would call spring weather that's really just no, kind of... And, and we've had our own share, not, yeah. nothing dramatic like that. Well, but, you know, uh, that's pretty nasty one. Yeah. Welcome back. They are often heroes, so it's no surprise that a firefighter is saving the life of his dad. Yeah, and it's just how he's doing it. He's giving his dad a life-saving kidney. News 12 Long Island's health reporter Sherry Einhorn has that story. I'm Sherry Einhorn, News 12 Long Island. Great story. Frank has been a volunteer with Bellport for 12 years, Tyler for three. We're going to check in with them after the surgery. We will let you know how they're doing. The previous record was set by 250 skiers <laughs> at the same event last year. How fun is that? Now take that down to double black diamond with moguls. Not happening. No, not happening. <laughs> That's right. See, see if you can keep your hands up like that the whole time. Even to do that, you have to have such core strength. Oh, of course. Right. Uh, it's difficult. I'll tell you, my We're sister still on the yoga? was ski <laughs> on live TV. That is called breaking news right there. And she, it's a good thing she said yes. She, because, I know, I know. Aw, that's so uh, sweet. A little hug. A little so hug, a little 15 minutes Producer's nightmare, too, YouTube. because you know, he's producer. just taking up uh, all that time. Oh, they had to plan for that one ahead, I guess. Yeah. I how do you continue with the news after that? I mean, how does she continue now? She goes out to dinner, I hope. I think, I think she just <laughs> says, I'm out. She's done. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> all right, here's a look now at some of the stories we'll see in the next 30 minutes.